Holograms aren't just hype. They're the future of computing. Do you remember movies like The Terminator and Robocop? Occasionally, audiences got to see through the main character's eyes, you know, Robovision. You see the real world with a digital overlay that would help inform and orient the cyborg character. Well, in the films, that's all done with movie magic, but we really have that. It's called augmented reality, or AR. And one of the coolest implementations is in car technology. Auto manufacturers have been experimenting with AR for a few years, developing a kind of heads-up display for drivers so you can get information on your windshield, like changing road conditions or how fast your car is going or other data. Meanwhile, there's a little company. You may have heard of it. It's called Microsoft. They unveiled a product called the HoloLens. In fact, I know you guys know about this because you ask about it a lot. Well, the HoloLens is an AR headset. It's got transparent lenses, so you can see the environment around you, but it can also project images on those lenses, creating the illusion of a freestanding, three-dimensional hologram in your physical space. And you can anchor that hologram to any point within your environment, and then walk around it as if it's a real object, getting a full 360-degree view of it. So this could be used for anything from turning a flat surface into a television screen to seeing what a new table would look like in your living room without committing on the buying part first. But let's say you do commit and you buy that table and then you discover that some assembly is required. Well, a product like the HoloLens with the right app could help you put it together. You could get step-by-step -step instructions. And as you look at all the pieces you've laid out in front of you, it highlights which ones you start with. So you pick those up and then it tells you what to do with those pieces, making the whole process smooth and painless. This is just the tip of the iceberg for the potential of the HoloLens. And it's not the only augmented reality headset coming out. There's another company called Magic Leap that got a big boost from Google. They're developing their own AR headset that uses digital light field technology, which is awesome. And what this means is we have all these different companies trying to use different implementations of AR, and whichever one works the best, that's gonna become our defining experience. All of this is happening right now, but let's look into the future. Think about AR contact lenses. Lenses that have tiny LED lights in them and transparent circuitry that you wear on your eyes and you get the full AR experience without having to wear a headset, which can create socially awkward situations. I speak from experience. There are actual companies and research facilities working on this right now, like a lab at the University of Washington. So this could become a real thing in just a couple of years. And beyond that, who knows? Retinal implants, anybody? Just imagine a world where if you wanna know something about a person or a place, you just look and the information comes to you. Now granted, this raises questions about privacy and security. And they're important questions that we should answer right now because I believe augmented reality is the future of computing. Speaking of questions, I've got one for you guys this week. What do you think is the coolest use of augmented reality? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then augment your viewing experience with these videos right over here.